Ah, six! Six pairs of glasses gone. And your lie has proven one thing very clearly. That you are the real killer! Whoa! Oh, seven. There's the seventh pair of glasses and then pants. Oh, lordy. So that's it then? It looks like the defense has somehow brought the ugly truth to light. The defendant, Mr. Matt Onyard, is not guilty after all. Wow. But that's impossible. You're wrong. Miss Andrews, try to have some composure. I don't really see how what I just did is any different than anything else I did. I, I, does that really prove it more than anything else? It's still all just talk. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, I tell you. It was Matt, I swear it. He's the one who killed Juan. But you were the one who refused to testify. And your reason for not doing so is that you might end up incriminating yourself. That's because of the suicide thing, I'm telling you. What exactly are you hiding that may incriminate you? Well, even the suicide thing wouldn't incriminate her, though. Would it? I mean, not in a, not in a legal sense, it wouldn't. But in a social... <laughs> I refuse to testify. That's it. End of story. Then there is no need for this court to continue any further. Mr. Man on Guard's innocence has been clearly demonstrated. <laughs> is it over? It is not even close to over. There's no way. We're only on part, what, 17 or 18 here? Have we found the truth at last? What's wrong, Phoenix? Usually, well, usually the real killer confesses his or her guilt. And now that I think about it, this is the first time someone hasn't. Hmm. Now then, I would like to hand down my verdict for Mr. Matt on guard. What? Don't stop us now! Your Honor, the prosecution feels that it would be premature to pass down a verdict at this time. What? You just saved us! What are you doing? Ugh. The reason is quite simple. Maya must die. Maybe he wants Maya to die. So that Pearl can become... Stop with this Morgan crap. I'm sure that'll come up in the next game or something. Unless it comes up here, though. The witness says he has to speak the absolute real truth. Ugh. The absolute real truth? Who in the world says that? What are you? Witness, don't you understand yet? Huh? Somebody give this poor girl a jacket, Jesus Christ. I don't know who planted this silly idea in your head, but as long as you protect yourself through your silence, Matt Ongard will go free. And in his place, you will become the guilty party. That, that's, a, that, that's a lie. I don't believe you. What? I was told if I spoke, if I spoke then it would be all over and Matt would never be declared guilty. So, that would be good, right? I can't speak about it. I'm too scared. It's Franziska Von Karma. Only she would dare give me the raspberry. Don't you remember, Phoenix? Miss Andrews lives by gripping tightly onto the words of another, because she doesn't have the strength to believe in herself. Then right now, Miss Andrews is... Yesterday she was tossed a lifesaver by Miss Karma. Don't say a word, no matter what happens. If you do, Matt on guard will be acquitted. Miss Andrews undyingly believes in those words right now, and is clinging onto them. Even more so given the fact that the person who said them was just shot a few hours ago. Then what did we do? This is the first time I've ever come across anything like this. Yeah, there's... Every single case is the first time you've come across something like this. But Miss Andrews has to be the killer, right? All we have to do now is take these lies and make them true somehow. All we have to see is that I don't belong to you, and you don't belong to me. Yeah, yeah. Freedom. I won't let you down. Freedom. I will not give you up. It wasn't me. I'm begging you. Please believe me. I didn't kill Juan. Help. 
please, someone help me. Oh my gosh. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. The court can't continue on like this. Therefore, I'd like to hear what you intend to do. What I intend to do? What am I supposed to say to that? I intend to save my friend's life, my assistant. Haven't you noticed she's not here? Haven't you noticed that who's really here is someone much more voluptuous and strangely underdressed and... Right, I suggest you think very carefully about this. We should put Pearl into that, you know, samurai costume. That thing would be dragging all over the floor, but at least then when Maya took over... You know... Think about what this witness did and what she did not do. Okay. And think about who is the real mastermind behind this crime. So maybe you are. Isn't that obvious? There's no one else it could be except the woman crying over there, right? No, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't think she did it. I still don't. Come now, what will you do? What kind of man are you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Is this it? Is this the bad ending? Don't be revving your engine out there. You're not part of this conversation. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious the not guilty verdict is the way to go because that that gets... Why can't I remember his name? Mr. Ongard. That gets him off the hook because he didn't do it anyway. It frees Maya. It you know stops her from having to testify for whatever reason. You know, if she gets tried later on, then fine. Maybe she can use me as her lawyer then. But forcing her to testify, like, all that does is drag this out. On the other hand, I can't help but feel like I'm supposed to force her to testify. Because we do, because I want to learn more, you know? So... Everything about Force Andrews to testify just screams bad ending to me. But if I had to see the endings in any order, I would want to see that one first, so... Force Andrews to testify. I have to win a complete acquittal today. There's no way around that. But... I can't bring myself to do it like this. Not when she's faking a face like that. Making a face. I didn't mean to say faking. Not when she's faking a mace like that. Miss Andrews, I would like to know what you are really hiding. Is the bad ending that she commits a suicide? Mr. Wright, are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure, Mr. Ongard would get an acquittal, but in his place, you would be found guilty. Is this how you really want this trial to end? Be quiet. How dare you? You're trying to trick me. Actually, no. That's enough. I commend you for trying, Mr. Edgeworth. However, it's clear that the defense's theory is the truth. You're wrong. What's what's up now? What's going on now? Such a shame. Oh, something big's about to happen here, and I'm just bracing myself. <sighs> Take a drink. Mm. Dear God. Oh my God. I'd hoped things wouldn't come to this. However, what is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Andrews, since you've been gone! No. Since you absolutely refused to testify, it falls on my shoulders to disclose this to the court. <gasps> Stop! Mr. Edgeworth. This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness? What? Or she has Asperger's? Or... What? And because of this illness, she has tried to commit suicide in the past. Oh, God. Oh, man. No matter how much you want to hide it, it's no use. I have the evidence right here. Well, so do I, but... Ah, oh, that's... Yeah. That's the second part of the suicide report. The attempted suicide report. What will you do now, witness? 
You know what I am about to do, don't you? He's about to submit it. Dude, I'm... Um... Oh boy. Well, the thing is, sometimes it's like, you know, I mean, in this day and age, you know, people, a lot of people have a lot of problems, but it doesn't help to hide it, you know, I mean, it helps for people to know so that they can either at least acknowledge it or get you some, or help you with it to befriend you. Like, I don't see how having a mental illness, like, makes her a bad person or makes her any less likable or, I don't know. I guess sometimes people are just embarrassed about it and they just don't want people to know, I guess. Anyway. Edward, how can you be so cold? Um, however, before you die... What? I will pull the truth from your breathing lips! No matter what I have to do! Jesus Christ! So will you tell the court yourself, or shall I? Either is fine with me. Holy shit. I'll talk, but please help me. Nothing matters anymore. Your crime? Wait a minute, did she really do it? Or is she making a false confession here? Does it change the subject, maybe? So let's just find out. When I first saw him, I really thought he had fainted, honest. When I realized he was dead, that was when I formulated my plan. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to Matt's room. And then I stabbed Juan's dead body with a knife. And ripped off the button. Just when I finished and was returning to Matt's room, I had a bit of an inconvenience, and that's why I ended up using the Nickel Samurai costume. Stab the body with a knife? But why would you do that? Isn't it obvious to pin the blame on a certain person? A certain cowardly man! What? Whoa! Okay, this is the first time this has come up, I think. Uh huh? This is the truth. What? She did it because there'd be no other way to prove that he did it otherwise, maybe. She did it with the intent of framing Matt on guard for the murder. And this, this is her crime. Oh. So, okay, so she's confessing that she tried to frame him. I guess? I mean, wasn't Miss Andrews supposed to be the real murderer? Wait a second. Now she's confessing that she tried to frame him for it. But if she didn't do it and he didn't do it, then who did? Is that where we're going with this now? Is that she really didn't do it? She was trying to make it look like Matt did it, but it was actually a third person who did it? Oh, jeez. This, this just got really messed up. When I first saw him, I really thought he had fainted, honestly. Okay, you probably just didn't notice the knife, but you could tell from the state the room was in that there must have been a fight. Are you telling the truth when you say that you did not know he was dead? He had a scarf tied around his neck, but that scarf is a part of the Jammin' Ninja's costume, so... I didn't think anything about that was strange. Okay, okay, so now... Now, according to her story, the knife wasn't there when she walked in. So now that makes sense, yeah. So we backed her into a corner and got her to confess that she did actually that she did actually stick the knife in him. 
His head was also tilted down a bit, so I couldn't see his face that well. That's why I thought I'd wake him up and went to pour the juice. Alright, when I realized he was dead, that's when I formulated my plan. So the thing is, how would she know that Matt was innocent and feel the need to frame him? Maybe, like, maybe he really did do it. So what would be the point of framing him if it was really true that he did it? Unless she's trying to tell us that he didn't do it, then... I mean, the only reason you would frame somebody is because they really are innocent, and if that's the case and she's confessing that now, then it's not guilty for Matt on guard. We're done here. Right? Oh, no, no. Well, she knew it was Matt. In this case, okay. I knew because Juan, he was the one who was supposed to be Matt's weakest weak point in the world. So Matt did this to stop Juan and silence him for good. That's when I thought... I should forge some evidence and pin this crime on that. Okay, so I guess I guess what she was really doing is what I said originally, that she didn't think there was enough evidence to convict him, so she made up some evidence to make sure that he got you know punished for the crime that he did commit. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to Matt's room. That was so you could get the knife, correct? The knife man used the dinner, had his fingerprints all over it. Thought if I used that, the police would certainly turn their eyes towards him. Yeah, he was wearing the costume when he was sleeping, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then I stabbed Juan's dead body with a knife and ripped off the button. Which we, I don't know why I'm pressing this, because we already know this stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man. Sad one's dead body suddenly realized something. Uh oh. If I use the button somehow, I can make Matt look even more suspect. So you thought to rip one of the buttons off and plant it in Mr. Ongar's Hakama. And then eat some Bothkaf. We got some Bothkaf. Yes, that's what I plan to do. But things never go that smoothly, do they? <laughs> I'll say that again. Just when I finished and was returning to Matt's room. I had a bit of an inconvenience. I want to hear about this. Probably ran into Lada or this old bag. There was a woman with a camera at the ready, loitering in the hallway. Loitering, yeah. I'm willing to bet my spikes it was Lada. It's your spikes, nice. There was also a woman with a ray gun at the ready, pacing back and forth. That's Miss Old Bag for you. I'd already been caught and made into a big scoop for a certain weekly tabloid once. I could very well go out looking like myself and get caught again. And that's why I ended up using the nickel set. But the thing is, like, the costume just happened to be there. I mean, that's kind of convenient. The fact that the costume was there leads me to think that, well, not necessarily that you had planned to use it, but that somebody had planned to use it for something. Well, no, we already know, though, that, yeah, never mind. I know why he had it there. Because he had originally planned to use it to make the big confession thing. Which never actually happened. The question still remains though, how did she know that the costume was in there? Let me see if he'll ask that, otherwise I may have to... Oh no, that's right, she was, she was the one that prepared the costume. Yeah, never mind. She knew about that, my bad. Hmm. Okay, he was going to disclose my big secret there. And what is this secret? That I don't know. Anyway, I thought that if I were... Her skin just got like two shades lighter than her when her sprite changed. <laughs> that was really weird. Anyway, I thought that if I were to leave Juan's room in the Nickel Samurai costume, then people would think that Matt was the real murderer. I was very careful not to leave any fingerprints when I opened the guitar case. I absolutely did not want anyone to know about the costume. I think we've heard enough. So after that, you went back to Mr. Ongar's room and planted the button. Into Matt's hot come out, we got some boss guys! Pulled up since the costume I was wearing and put it into a bag. Then I snuck it out of the hotel and got rid of it. It's my word. 
What does all this mean? Mr. Edgeworth, is it? <laughs> the real criminal is Matt on guard. Yesterday, that woman prosecutor sat me down for a talk. A talk? She said that I should under no circumstances confess to what I had done. Uh, okay, so if she had confessed to all this, then yeah. He would have been found innocent, but... Well, yeah, because people would think that she was doing it to frame him. But let's assume that she had not said anything and we just let this ride. He would have got the acquittal anyway, but I guess Von Karma didn't predict that I would have been able to do that or something. I had no choice but to believe in her words. Hmm, those pants. What this witness has done is clearly unlawful. However... As long as her testimony stands, we can be certain she is not the real killer. Wait, Your Honor. The defense still... Aw, oh, what? What's going on here? It's pointless. At this point in time, it is not possible to indict Miss Anders on anything. Yes, exactly. There isn't a single piece of evidence that points to her as the murderer. Hmm cross-examination of this witness is over, and so is today's trial. You couldn't establish that the witness was the culprit. Please let it go, Mr. Wright. Ugh. But! No, I'm not farting. Mr. Edgeworth, please place Miss Andrews under arrest for further questioning. Understood, Your Honor. Prosecution will arrange for her detention immediately. That's all. Court is adjourned for today. So did Matt really do it? Ooh! Ah, that's scary. That looks like a ghost sitting in that chair. Wait. <gasps> what happened? Oh my god, that scared me. Just seeing him like that. Oh my god. It kind of breaks my heart. And it didn't win an acquittal. But Maya got away! Witness, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Before you leave court today, I wondered if I might look at one thing. That card she's holding in her hand. Yep. It's had my interest for quite some time now. What exactly is it? Oh, this? Mr. Wright also asked about this. <laughs> um, and Mr. Wright also knows. Via... Mia's memories, I think. That Maya, that wherever Maya is, that card was left. I remember just now, I found this in the room on that day. The room? That day? Yes. I found this card when I discovered Juan's body. It was lying there, right next to him. You found that card next to the victim's body? I suppose I must have unconsciously slipped it into my pocket. But it's not as if this card has any relevance to Juan's murder, right? Yeah, of course not. But it's still a strange card, if you ask me. But as far as a clue to this case, I don't see why... Dude, where is the light bulb? Oh, shit. Do you have any idea what you have stupidly, yet inadvertently, done? This! I can't believe you hid this from me! She wasn't hiding it from you, dude! She was holding it in her hand the whole freaking time! It's on you for not noticing! I didn't mean to. What is this all about? I've never seen such an emotional Edgeworth in my entire life! Ugh. That card, what in the world is it? And what does it mean? Hmm. Dude! Zero, you, what? You're gonna cliffhang me on that? You've gotta be kidding me! I can't stop now! Where's my recording at? How many hours have we been doing this? T 
two hours and 21 minutes. Dear God. Oh, my God. What the frick fuck, man? I can't stop there. No, no, don't, don't keep going. Oh, my God. It's 5.24 p.m. Maya's going to be dead. The court is over. Oh, poor Phoenix. I felt so bad for him. He had his head in his hands. I just wanted to go up and give him a hug. And just tell him that Maya's okay. But he doesn't know. Where is she? Is she back yet? When was that that she got out, though? It didn't say. Oh, we. Okay, guys. Next time on Phoenix Wright. Oh, God. I, I can't even edit this. I'm gonna, I need to go on to the next part. I need to know what's going to happen. Ugh. I wasn't sure. I'll be honest with you guys. I wasn't sure that I liked this case all that much for the first, like, ten or so parts. But right now... It's got me by the balls, man. <laughs> Holy crap. You guys weren't kidding, man. Alright. Next time, we'll do it. See you guys then. If you're watching this in a playlist, you're like, get to the next part. So here, have the next part. Or if you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, then I guess you have to wait a day. It sucks to be you. See you later. <sighs> oh my god. There is no freaking way, man. I'm just gonna edit all of this. Oh my god. It's only 8.45 p.m. I was gonna stream tonight. How am I supposed to stream now? I can't stream with all that in my head. So, what has this game done to me? So